learn English proverbs. Hi, I'm Byron. I'm from the U.S. and I'm an English teacher at Q Language. I want to talk today about two proverbs in English. They're both about birds. First, what's a proverb? A proverb is a bit of wise advice about a certain topic, but it can be applied to many different specific situations. Proverbs can be about time management, or money, or relationships, or any number of topics. The two I have today are about possessions, both possessions we have now in our hands, and possessions that we are planning on, or that we want in the future. The first one is, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. And we're meant to imagine that we're out catching birds for whatever reason. Maybe we want to eat them, maybe they are for pets. And we managed to catch one, so we've got one bird in our hand. But then we notice away in the bush that there are two more, and two birds is better than one. But the problem with catching birds is as you approach them, they tend to fly away. So rather than leaving the one so that you can catch the two new ones, it's better to stick with that one that you already have control of. And that can be applied, for example, in a casino. If you've got $10 in your hand, that's great. You can take it to the bank. You can go to a shop and buy something with it. But then imagine that you see the roulette table. And you can play that $10 and maybe make it into 20 Well, that would be even better. But the $10 in your hand is a sure thing, and the $20 that you might win on roulette is not. So the $10 is worth as much or more as the $20. The second proverb is, don't count your chicks before they hatch. And here we're meant to imagine that we want some chickens, so we buy some eggs. And we think, great, I've got seven eggs, so I'm going to have seven chickens once they all hatch. But the problem is, of course, sometimes eggs don't hatch. And then if we've been planning on all seven chickens, we're going to be disappointed. And an example of when this would apply would be if you think you're going to get a pay rise at work, and so you go out and spend some extra money that you wouldn't normally spend and buy something you wouldn't have been able to afford. Well, maybe that pay rise won't come through, or maybe it'll be less than you thought it was going to be. In that case, you've got a problem. So it's better not to count your chick before they hatch, not to plan on that extra money before you actually have it. There are lots of different proverbs in English, and you've probably got some in your language that are similar to these. Maybe not with birds, but with something different. It's fun to look up proverbs online and see all the different areas they apply to. Uh, I hope you found these two proverbs about birds interesting, and I hope one day I might meet you at Q Language, but I'm not going to plan on that until you're already here.